Okay, this is a view of uh, my controller and the Price um, Torch Height Control module there. I have a roll around controller that uh, has all my computer equipment, the motor drivers and so forth are all inside of one thing that I can roll around. Uh, I have a shelf that has the uh, keyboard and mouse and uh, remote control there. I can just pivot that up and cover the front of the monitor, close it up and then roll around and store it. Um, all my cables are connected to the side here for the motors and uh, so forth, the signal cables for the table. And then over here is my uh, Hypertherm 65 with the um, other module that comes with the price unit. I um, took both the Hypertherm cable and put two other wires with it, made the connection here and came out of the bottom and joined two of these together. So this is my cable grouping. I put a piece of heat shrink tubing right along here every once in a while to sort of uh, bring the two of them together so that uh, I don't have a bunch of separate cables. Okay, this is another part of the setup procedure. You rotate it down to you hit the output signals, you push on it, and you see this light is lit. And if you come over to your diagnostic page, you see that's lit. And if you turn the knob, there's down. But actually, the down words are right up there. They forgot to move it down. So anyway, that's the down. Next switch over is the arc OK. Again, you can go through down, up, down, you know, so this is a way of checking the, uh, that your wiring is correct and uh, the signal from the uh, price controller is going into mock. This is to check the mechanical distance while it's doing a um, <clears throat> G-code without plasma. And it's set for 60 thousandths of an inch. And you see this just passes underneath there. So I know that this routine will always set it up so this distance is 60 thousandths of an inch. Okay, it would have been a little noisy out in my shop, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is uh, go over this with you. When you're uh, getting ready to do the uh, setup of the, for the different metals, for the different uh, thicknesses of metal to obtain the uh, arc voltage, which will determine how high the torch runs as it's being cut, being under the control of the price controller. You come in here, these are the setups. Right now, this is a normal setup. They are all enabled. They go to port one. I'm using the uh, example number three Bob board that they have, and these are the pins I selected for my signals. So you go ahead and set that up. Now, when you're going to run the routine, uh, as I showed, you run it and you establish that it actually, uh, when it's running, supposedly doing the cut, it is running at 60 thousandths of an inch off of the metal surface. So once you're sure that your mechanical portion of it is doing what it's supposed to do, you come in here and you unable these so that the signals themselves will not go back and uh, come from the price unit and go into the bob board and influence the torch moving up and down. And you go ahead and you run the uh, G-code with the torch now cutting and the display on the price unit will tell you what the average voltage is at sixty thousandths of an inch and you record that voltage and then you come back in here and re-enable these and just do the cut again to make sure that uh, it, it does match what you've put in there and once you've got it set and you know that it matches then you go ahead and save that particular setting 
to one of the memory locations on the price unit so that uh, anytime you're going to cut that particular metal uh, you just come in and click the particular uh, slot in their memory location. How you save them is you scroll with the uh, switch here till you get this load save uh, thing and you push the button and it says save and if you push it again now see you can change to load or cancel if you're on save you want to save the setting that you just made you push the button and it says which memory slot do you want to put it in I'm going to put it in four you hit save and then it's saved to show you that I'll go ahead and say load and I'm going to load position number one which is for a different um, setting and if we go and I see it's changed it to 126 volts is what that other setting was if I go back to um, load save and I go to load go back to four and then go back to See, it's back to 116 that I did for the last one. So what, any changes you made in here, like you come in and you say, okay, I want to set it way up to that voltage. You'd hit tolerance again, and then you'd hit okay, and that's set. And if you wanted to save that, you'd go to that save function again, click on save, and tell it which memory position. There's up to 30 memory positions you can do.